plaintiff, Teresa Allen, says her father was a rolling stone, and she always heard rumors that she had other siblings. Teresa claims she and the defendant grew up in the same small town, and Teresa now believes she is one of those siblings. So she petitioned the court for a DNA test. Defendant Patricia Nelson says growing up, her mother told her who her father was, but it's not the same man as Teresa's father. Now Patricia doesn't know what to believe, so she's eager to get the test results today. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. All right, and we're here today to determine um, whether you two are siblings. All right, let's start with you. Me and Trish, we, that's what I call her, we uh, all grew up in the same neighborhood, small, small town, and um, we all knew each other. And uh, my daddy, he kind of was a rolling stone. And How do you know? Because uh, I've, I've met some of his women. How? Oh. Um, he would bring them home. I mean, he would bring them to me as I got older. But As in what age? How early? Um, now, to bring them to me, mm -hmm. I was probably about 20 when he started doing it. Oh, okay. But... Um, you were an adult. I knew he was, yeah, I knew he was doing other things. Um, you knew I, he was seeing other, other women, women, is that yeah. what you're saying? And, uh, oh, he was married to you? Yes, he was married to my mother. When you were And 20? actually, he was married to my mother, and he married another woman. And while married to your mother, he yes, took sir. you over yes, to sir. one of his girl's friends? No, he there? was just married to another woman. He, he had to, yeah, he was a bigamist. At the same time? Mm-hmm. Okay. And so he divorced my mom in the 70s, and he had married this woman in the 60s. Okay. But um, he had had an affair with uh, Trisha's mom, and... Uh, How do you know that? Because my mom told me. How old were you when she told you that? We, I was probably about 10 or 12, something like that. Why do you think she told you that? Because she said one of those girls was my sister's. Oh. Yeah. Trish okay. has three other sisters. And so I kind of thought the other girls was, because Trish was so much younger than me. And so she told me around 10 or 12, Trish had to be about five. So I didn't really think it was her. I really didn't know her that well. Her other sisters are, are my age. And so um, she said one of those girls was my sisters. And I was looking at them, and none of them really looked like us, me or my other two sisters. And so I didn't think much of it. And, we grew up in around 2005, uh, Trish and I started going to church together. And uh, we've, we've been friends. And so one day she said, you know, your dad used to give me lunch money. And I said, you're the one. You're the sister. And um, I've lost, I lost my mom. I lost my dad. And I lost my son in a car accident, one of my, my boys. And both of my sisters, grandma's gone, mm -hmm. uh, my sister's husband is gone. And so I'm I just lost a lot in my family and I was just kind of. Well, hopefully we have some good news here today. Yes. Yeah, he Two was a bigamist. at the same time? Mm-hmm. Okay. And so he divorced my mom in the 70s and he had married this woman in the 60s. Okay. But um, he had had an affair with uh, Trisha's mom and. Uh, How do you know that? Because my mom told me. Plaintiff Teresa Allen believes she and the defendant may share the same father, but the defendant was always told another man was her father. So they took a DNA test today. You give me some background here. When I was growing up, all I ever knew is my mom told me who my dad was. It was not her dad, but my mom told me who my dad was, and his name is on my birth certificate, so I never thought Is nothing. it the same name she's speaking no. of that's on no, your birth sir. certificate? No. no, sir. So in order for you all to be sisters, he I, wouldn't be your dad? It would not be my dad, according to what my mom told me. Is that true? Yes. If you all are sisters, the person she thought was her dad all this time is not her dad. And you all just bringing this to her? 
Yeah, well, I, you know. <laughs> How you feel about this? You think well, it's your dad? I just you tell think her the no. man has been been your dad, ain't your dad, and it's her dad who you? Well, I just tell her no. Did he used to I buy know. you candy though, or? I I tell her no because what my mom told me, I believe what my mother told me. So, on my birth certificate, it says something different. But I don't mind coming to see, you know, do the DNA. So that, cause she's my friend and I love her. And I've helped them, many people as friends, you know, I fostered seven kids and I adopted two. And to help somebody is not, is nothing. Cause Good. that's, that's what I do. Good. Thank you. So I've never seen my father, but that's all right. Really? I, no, I never. Found my father. I looked for him. Well, then no wonder you all have a reason to I've be. Never, uh, um, okay, I thought you were saying your father's always been in the household, and no, they, sir. your mother always told you that's your father, and no well, one else he, disputed she did, it. She did, but but he wasn't mom, in the household. My mom deceased when I was fourteen. Got it. So after that, I always wanted to find him, and I tried to, but I, you know, haven't succeeded. But if it's God's will. It'll happen. That's the way I look wow. at it. So, but well, I just thank God for the woman that I am that my mom raised. So. Yes, and she raised a great woman the, the way you help others. Oh, yeah. That's the measure of uh, success, in my opinion, or of character, is uh, do you do what Jesus did, Christians? But it's a little tough. Contacting someone saying your daddy isn't your real daddy. Your daddy is my daddy. And I know it because you told me he gave you lunch money. Yeah, mm -hmm. she told me he, my dad gave her lunch money, but my but they mom. Were friends. Yeah, but what made you think that meant she, he, it was. Because her, my your mother, dad. Uh -huh. my mother, this, this town is real small. Mm -hmm. And in our, in our town, um, black folks were uh, contained in one area. Back in the 60s Every town. and the 70s. Segregation is yeah. what they call it. Back in the 60s and 70s. And no, actually, right now. Even right now. <laughs> yeah, I know all this type of stuff at the back of my hand. Go ahead, because I'm against segregation, I'm against racism, but God know what I'm talking about yeah. when you're fighting against it. You Go ahead. <laughs> all right, so. Go ahead, so you say it was, it, very segregated. It's less yeah. segregated than it was, mm -hmm. but it's, it was very segregated back then. In our then. town, you when you you didn't go past one street, uh, uh, black folks didn't live past one street, and the other. And if they did, you know, they, they you knew about it. That's the same thing here in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> all the black folks segregated on the south side. All the white folks is on the north side. Yeah. Maybe Latinos in the Humboldt area, a couple other areas, That's but true. segregation nonetheless. So still the same You're in right. Chicago, and you can tell. Um, so that convinced you that your mother was probably telling the truth because it's such a small town and everybody knows well, my, everybody. My and, mother... I don't know who told her, cause like I said, I was young, and all I think she wanted me to know that I had another sister. And uh, mom, never, mama didn't do a lot of gossiping. Somebody had to tell her. And my father, it, just like I said, it's a small town. And if my father was doing something, she knew about it. She knew about it, and I believed what she said. Mom, mom was not a liar. I don't mind coming to see, you know, do the DNA. So that, cause she's my friend and I love her. And I've helped them, many people as friends, you know, I fostered seven kids and I adopted two. And to help somebody is not, is nothing. Cause Good. that's, that's what I do. Good. Plaintiff Teresa Allen believes she and the defendant may share the same father, but the defendant was always told another man was her father. So they took a DNA test today. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good lady to come and participate, but like your instincts, belief, and your life experiences have told you, you all are not sisters. Oh, your wow. father is who, your, who has been your father. So best of luck to you, however. Right. Bye bye. Thank you. Oh, 
Así es. She knows I love her. Mm -hmm. And I'll, and uh, her children, they, they call me auntie because I made them. <laughs> <laughs> but I love her. And um, well, I, thank I, you for doing this for us so that we she could get some closure. Okay. But we could still be close friends and it'll never change. That's yeah. wonderful. So, Thanks. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much.